Hey, uh, Matt from Double Vertical Science here. Uh, this is my freezer depth profile. Um, so the unawakened side is, at the end of your turn, you get to untap one of your battle area cards, so it goes back to active mode. Awaken, draw two cards. Um, has exactly the same effect on the other side, apart from you get to untap two cards, and when you attach, draw a card. So, going to the extra cards, we have one firing laser, uh, one, two, three, four copies of Freezer's Call. Um, so, firing these are just a negate uh, counters. Get that over that way. And then you've got um, Freezer's Call. Negate counters meaning? Yeah, so it's a counter counter. Place one yellow card from your hand in the drop area. Uh, negate the counter. So it's a counter counter. <laughs> weird. Um, so then you've got Freezer's Call. So. Uh, sorry. Uh, activate main. Choose one Freezer's Army card from your. Uh, yeah, choose one obviously card. Energy cost two or less from your deck and play it in rest mode. Uh, pretty good card for the deck. And then of course, wouldn't it be a Freezer deck without four copies of Cold Bloodlust. Um, negate a skill when it comes into play. So. Like happened this in the game, he played um, his chills and he got um, cold boil busted, and I forgot about it two seconds later. <laughs> it was dramatic. To be fair, I forgot as well the inside shot drop. Check my drop, but oh. yeah. <laughs> so, but that's cold blood lost for you. And then we got three copies of Crushable. So, when a card comes into play in the battle area, you can tap one yellow and make it go into rest so it's not going to swing to you for that turn. And then because Flying Nimbus isn't out we have two copies of Raccoon and Razor Gun. Um, so this one does, if your leader card is yellow, negate the attack, afterwards the opponent's battle cards are unable to attack for a duration of turn. So they swing for their leader first and you do this, you're blocking all the attacks. Okay, so we'll go into the um, Battle cards. So to start off with, we have four copies of Avenging Freezer. Uh, this is usually the card you would get off um, wherever it's gone. The Freezer's Call. Because then, um, Joe, you want to play it turn one, because then this comes in rested. And when it comes in, you search the top three, uh, look at top three, add a Freezer's Army with cost two or less to your hand. And then obviously at the end of the turn you get to untap him, so then you can combo with him on your opponent's turn if you want to protect yourself. Um, and then we have two copies of Sorbet, the Loyal Commander. Uh, so he's got a blocker, and then activate main once per turn. You can look at the top two cards of your deck and combo with them. So that's good for that one. And then we got Ginyu Falls, good though. So just another blocker. And then when he comes into play, you can target one of your opponent's energy cost two or less cards and put it into rest mode. So that's it for the one drops. And on to the two drops. We've got four copies of the super combo. The Dodoria for yellow. Four copies of Kui. It's just a 12k base blocker and obviously two energy costs, so you can come off the um, Avenging Freezer. And Avenging Freezer can also search out your super combo if it happens to be there. Um, to the free costs... Damn it, I will get good for this one day. Um, right, so you got one copy of Zarbon, the Emperor's Attendant. So, uh, during your opponent's turn when you combo with this card, you choose one of your battle cards and turn it back to active. So you can save one of your battle cards. And then we got three copies of Destruction Occupation Freezer. Uh, pay one, 10k. When you combo with it, it comes into play in rest mode. And then we got four copies of. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this guy's name. Um, you can pronounce it just fine. What, but no? Yeah. Okay. Um, he's just a vanilla with 20k base, so it's harder for your opponent to get around him when you swing at uh, 15 base stuff and then you just put A5 into it so it forces more out of your opponent. 
Uh, and then we've got one copy of King Cole, Father of the Emperor. So he's got Double Strike, Revenge, and Counter. Um, so play this card from your hand and change your target attack to this card. Or to when you play this card, choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. So when you play him, you get to target something to stop another attack coming at you and kill something that's coming at you. Um, this guy, I got not even think that. So he's got double strike. Also, when you play this card, uh, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards. Um, they cannot switch to active mode during your opponent's next turn. So he locks down two attacks. And then we've got four copies of Mega Freeze and Returning Terror. So you've got Dual Attack, and when you play him, you can discard a card, target two cards in rest mode, and destroy them, and he has Double Strike. Yeah. So, only for a turn you do that effect, though, but he still has Dual Attack after that. Uh, there's no five drops to this deck, um, so we're going to six drops. We've got uh, two copies of Full Power Freezer. So it's just a blocker with triple strike. Also when you um, activate this card's blocker, switch it back to active mode. Really good blocker. And then the last card of the deck, three copies of the Golden Freezer Resurrected Terror. So this can evolve to six, um, and he's got triple strike. And when a card falls into this card, uh, place all rest mode battle cards, except this card, into drop area. Then choose all active mode uh, battle cards and switch them to rest mode. So it goes, I play this, anything in rest dies, anything not in rest goes to rest. So you play two of these in one turn, and it can KO stuff. Did it? Did I actually read? Oh, right, so I shouldn't have killed my own one off. Does it say this card, or does it say his name? Uh, let's go and see. Except for this card in the drop area. It just said this card then. Uh, yeah, so true. You yeah, so I did do it right. I wasn't being a derp. <laughs> if it said his name, then yeah. Yeah. Um, right, so then you go guys. That is my freezer deck profile. So thanks for watching and see you next time.